Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. Today, what we're talking about is getting nerd fonts installed on Windows so that you can use them in the Windows terminal with PowerShell or Command or Linux. Now, one thing I'll mention is you cannot use nerd fonts in the default terminal. You do need to go to the Microsoft Store and get the Windows terminal. It's free, so no worries there. You also will need to get VS Code, but we're going to go through that because you need to enable a couple of options when you install it. And if you already install it, you might need to reinstall it. That's okay. And before we do kick things off, just go ahead real quick, do yourself a favor, go to gist.github.com and start making yourself some notes, create a file, something like nerdfonts on windows.md and just take those notes so that you got them, you get to keep them, you can remember them and be sure to comment if there's any questions you come along as we're doing this together. Now, with that out of the way, I'm at the Nerd Font website here. This is not where we wanna be. This is not as helpful as we would like it to be in installing the Nerd Font. So, instead we're gonna to go to webinstall.dev slash Nerd Font, and that's where we have information on how to install Nerd Font on every platform, including Windows. And what I'm gonna do is copy and paste this little shell command that's gonna go download the default nerd font for us. Now, when it comes to picking and choosing different fonts, essentially, you're gonna follow the same process we're doing here. You can go download the custom one that you want. You can use the system installer to install it. I'm just gonna show you the quick and easy way, all right? So here we go. Let me get back to the terminal if I can find it behind here. Here we are. And in the Windows terminal, I actually get to use Control C and Control V to copy and paste. How exciting, as opposed to Command.exe where it's select and enter and right click. So if for any reason this gets hung up, you just hit enter on the keyboard. There's an old Windows bug with the terminal that will never get fixed for backwards compatibility reasons that causes you to need to sometimes hit enter. Okay, so this went ahead, it in actually installs the nerd font from the publicly available sources that are listed on the official nerd, nerd font website, and then puts it into our user folder. The nice thing about this approach is it doesn't require any administrative privileges to do what we're doing. This is all safe, secure, and very fast, as you saw. So with that out of the way, how do we use nerd font? Well, what we need to do is edit the settings for the Windows terminal, but they are in JSON and we do not have a, a text editor yet. So we're gonna go and get VS Code. So I'm just gonna type in VS Code here. And all of this is mentioned in the cheat sheet on webinstall.dev slash nerd font. And if I can get my mouse to scroll so I can click download here, I'll do that. All right, go ahead and grab it for Windows, of course and wait a few seconds while it downloads. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of some of these tabs that we're not gonna use again and open up the VS Code installer. Basically, we wanna select all the options except me personally, I don't like to clutter the desktop, but you'll see in just a second, there's a, a few different options that it gives us and I'll walk through what they mean, but we wanna select all of them. And if you didn't do this before, like I said, you might wanna reinstall it again. Okay, I'm not going to create a desktop icon, but yes, we want to add open with code to the Windows File Explorer so we can right click on files that are compatible and open them, as well as to directories. We wanna be able to open up a directory as a code directory, and we want to register code as an editor for supported file types such as JSON. So this way we get a nice editor that our config file is going to open up in. And of course, we want code in our path. So with that, click next and install, that was it. Nothing too crazy. All right, now that we have VS Code installed, I'm gonna go ahead and let it launch so that it does all of its initialization business so that when we actually click on the edit button, it goes faster. Okay, now that it's loaded up, I'm just gonna switch back to the terminal, the Windows terminal here, and I'm going to select settings. Notice it opens up the settings in, the, the settings.json in VS Code automatically. And it's asking me, because this is the first time I've opened it, it's asking me, do I want to install the Windows subsystem for Linux tools? I'm just going to select yes on that and then click X on this and then actually get out of these so that we're not cluttered up with a bunch of stuff that we're not interested in at the moment. 
So the section that we need to go down to is under Profiles and Defaults, where it says put the settings that you want here. That's what we're going to update. And whatever font you're using, the name that you need to use is the exact name of the font. Let me see if I can get rid of that side view there. There we go. So we get a little more space to see here. So I'm going to go back to the website and I already have exactly what we need here, but you need, if you need to figure it out for a different font than the default Droid Sans Mono, then you're going to have to open up your system font viewer and find out what it believes the font name is because it's different than the file name. So what you find in the zip folder and the name that the font uses when it installs could have abbreviations in it or it could have spaces or removed spaces. Like for example, the file name for this was something like Droid Space, Sand Space, Mono Space, Compatible for Windows, Nerd Font, and that can, gets condensed down to just Droid Sans Mono space NF, right? So we're gonna go back I actually don't think we need to reference this again, so I'm going to go ahead and click out of there. But there is more information if you want to learn a little bit more about uh, options that you have on Windows and other operating systems. Let's see if I can get this right here. Being on a virtual machine, sometimes it's hard to get the mouse and the keyboard to behave as expected. And also dealing with keys, like I've got command for saving and all that. And I have to use control when I'm in my window screen. So here we are. I save that. We should be able to exit out of this. And now we're going to have to exit out of Windows Terminal. And then we're going to open it back up again. Oops, it already disappeared. Here we go. Windows Terminal. And the next bit is we need something that actually uses Windows Terminal. And for that, I am going to suggest that we call upon our good friend Webby, which we just used Webby to install nerd font. So now we have the webby.bat command. We can use Webby to install LSD as well and pretty much all of our developer tools. So it's going to go grab that for us and put it in our path. So now if I type LSD laugh, is that how I do it? No, like this. Fingers crossed. Oh, looky there. We've got icons, ladies and gents. So we got the gear icon, the folder icon, some other stuff here. I'm just going to go ahead and create a folder called code. Can I do that? Yeah, I can do that on Windows. And I can use push D on Windows. And I will touch a file called index.html and app.js. Oh, I can't touch. What do I have to do here? Uh, does Windows have, does Echo work in Windows? I think it does. We'll do this, index.html. I'm also curious, does Windows have printf? No, it doesn't. That's okay. All right. Anyway, the point is I've got my icons, little JS icon, little HTML icon. So everything's working good. Now let's go check it out in Linux and see if it's working there. And it should be because the font that's being selected is being selected in the terminal regardless of what program you're running in the terminal. So if we do the same thing here, I need to install Webby real quick. So that's just webinstall.dev, curl, webinstall.dev, pipe to bash, that'll give me Webby. And then I can Webby LSD to get LSD or many of the other programs that are popular programs are available on Webby as well. Uh, let's see, control C, control V, and then Webby LSD. And there we are, lickety split, faster and safer and better than apt or brew. And then, look at that. We've got our nice folders with icons here too. Booyah! All right, so if this was at all helpful to, to you, uh, if it helped you accomplish your goal or you just like my face, go ahead and click like. If you don't like my face, click dislike because every thumb helps. And I think I'm just going to have to catch you next time. Be sure to check out the links in the description. Just subscribe either here to the live channel if you want the live stuff or here might actually be the 
other channel, the Beyond Code Bootcamp channel, if you're watching this edited. With that, I'm going to say thanks for watching and adios. I'm going to try that again. That was a little too... Uh, something about the arm movement there. <clears throat> adios. Nailed it. <laughs>